name's Jan Brown. I am president of ICAS for 2014-15. It's 160 years since the Royal Charter established us as the first professional body of accountants in the world. And this year we have celebrated our past and we're looking forward to the future. Our impressive membership growth continues. We have now surpassed 20,000 members worldwide for the first time ever. And our financial performance remains very healthy. The Chartered Accountants Qualification is creating opportunities for our membership worldwide and our investment in innovation is improving our connectivity through virtual ICAS. Our six objectives will continue to be our focus, helping us to build for the future. In 2014, ICAS launched the first phase of its digital transformation to serve and support chartered accountants around the world, with the long-term aim of enabling members to access the same networks and knowledge wherever they are. Our new virtual mentoring program has over 100 chartered accountants matched. The admission ceremony welcoming our newly qualified chartered accountants was viewed in over 33 countries and over 450 candidates have now begun their journey towards the ICAS Tax Professional Qualification. We celebrated our 160th anniversary with an ambitious programme of international events broadcast live to the homes and offices of chartered accountants around the world. Our international communities continue to thrive with more than 20 communities across the globe. ICAS is committed to ensuring our members operate to the highest standards. We set ourselves a high-level objective of becoming a global leader in the application of ethics, and we ensure that all our members complete an annual return in which they make an ethical pledge. ICAS's work as an influencer and thought leader was particularly prominent in 2014. We made powerful interventions and objective analysis on the implications of devolution in the UK, particularly in relation to pensions and tax. We also ensured that the voice of the profession was heard in the debate around the implementation of the EU audit regulation and directive. And our technical experts made valuable contribution to the development of legislation at Westminster and Holyrood. By the end of 2014, ICAS had 20,401 members, with new student numbers increasing from 767 to 902. And we are now helping 39 young men and women with mentoring and support through the ICAS Foundation. We have enhanced the preeminence of ICAS with our views on the UK's constitutional future and key professional issues. Upholding the high standard in the Chartered Accountant's qualification and delivering our ambitious plan for a virtual ICAS. My name is Anton Kalela and I'm the Chief Executive of ICAS. The achievement of our strategic objectives this year has allowed ICAS to continue to have a prominent place and pre-eminent place within the global accounting profession. The 160th anniversary has given us a great opportunity to be very proud of our institute, but particularly in the last year in the way that we have influenced and informed debate, and very particularly for the way that we have helped young people through the ICAS Foundation. By celebrating the past, we've had the opportunity to build for the future.